Steve here, and today, oh man, I'm here with Pikachu. Pika, Pika. Pikachu. Yep, you said it, Pikachu, and we like the Detective Pikachu movie so much, well, we're gonna review some more Pokemon toys today. Pika, Pika. <laughs> all right, kids, so for the past couple of weeks, we reviewed all the Detective Pikachu toys, including construction sets and action figures, and even all the plushies that they've made for this movie. But for today's review, well, I want to do something a little bit differently that revolves around the Pokeball. Because when you catch a Pokemon and put them in the ball, well, what we don't realize is that there's a whole world inside that a Pokemon is stuck in. So for today's review, well, we're going to review these really cool toys that are exclusive only to Japan that explore what's inside these really cool Pokeballs. All right. Boy, I'm super excited because I've only seen pictures of these things online and I had to go through a Japanese seller just to get them because you can't get them in the US. Pikachu? Yep, that's right, Pikachu. These things are super hard to find and they're super cool. So let's get to them. Okay, so here we have the Blind Box Pikachu Pokeball set, Series 1. I think they've made a couple series since. And uh, this is the first one. I think there's only six in all that you can collect. And I just hope that... Uh, well, all of them are here in this uh, case. Okay, so let's open the first one here. Boy, I'm super excited. Can't wait to see what we get. But, uh, whoa. Okay, so open up that carefully. And look at that. Ooh, there's all kinds of pieces. Ha, I see Eevee right there. Ah, oh, cool. He looks great. But hold on there. I think I'm going to have to get my scissors so I don't break this thing. Okay, so let's see. Get this out of the baggie here. Oh, check it out. We have uh, a little biome piece that uh, we put in the poke ball. Ooh, neat. <laughs> oh, look at that. Oh, it's a little diglet inside. Oh, that's cool. Oh, man, puppetastic. All right, let's see. We also get a little action figure of Eevee. And, oh, isn't he so cute? Yeah, let's see. We've got another little piece here. Which looks like it goes to the biome as well. Ah, there we go. I guess that's for uh, Eevee to eat, I guess. Yum, 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 yum. <laughs> uh, I'm not sure, but uh, boy, that looks cute. So we have our figure, our little display piece. And oh, I guess that comes off too. And let's see. So we have this uh, staircase biome for Eevee to stand in. And we've got some flowers as well. All right, and all this can fit into a Pokeball. And there we go. Oh yeah, that's a nice little display. Let's see, get the little top here. Carefully put that on. And we've got our Eevee biome. All right, check it out. So whenever you're catching Eevee, uh, that's what it looks like inside where he's uh, hanging out in. So yep, Eevee's having fun in there in that little Pokeball. Awesome. Well, what do you think of that, Pikachu? Isn't that the coolest Pokeball toy ever? Pika, Pika. Yeah, I agree. Ah. For being so small, I'm surprised at all the detail they put into this thing. Holy cow, and there is a lot of them. But seeing this makes me excited to see what else we can find. And, uh, oh, wait a minute. Oh, we get some gum in there too? Oh, what a cool bonus. All right, let's open this up and uh, see what it tastes like. Hmm, it's kind of like a, um, a banana gum. <laughs> oh, good. All right, well, enough of that. I want to see what other biomes we can find in this really cool Pokemon set. So let's see, let's open up another box here and see what Pokemon we get this time. <laughs> okay, let's see, open this up very carefully. I see a lot of blue in there. And ooh. Now we get the figure of Dragonair. Oh yes, what a cool looking figure. And if we compare it to the Tommy figure released a few years ago, we see that uh, good job, looks just like it. All right, so yep. A lot of detail for this little figure. And if we look at this biome piece, let's see, it looks like there's only one. And uh, it's of a very detailed piece of water, it looks like. Huh, look at that. I guess uh, we put the Pokemon inside there. Looks like this figure sits in there really nice. Ah, oh, yeah, nice and snug. Okay, grab the bottom piece here, put it in the Pokeball, put the lid on. And there we go! Now we have her biome! Ah, oh, yes! And since she's a water Pokemon, she can swim all day to her heart's content! And if we put this next to our Eevee Pokemon... Ah, oh, yeah! Look at that! We've got two really cool biomes for this set already! Okay, we still haven't found that Pikachu yet, which, uh... Man, 
that's the one I really want. So let's see here. Let's open this box up. See what Pokemon we get this time. Oh, check this out. I think it is Pikachu. <laughs> ah, speak of the devil. Let's get this wrapping off this ball here. Yeah, let's see. We've got uh, a couple pieces, it looks like. Eh, maybe not. Looks like we get uh, just the Pikachu and the biome part. Okay, so here's the Pikachu figure. And boy, is he tiny. Holy cow, he's like half the size of a regular Pikachu figure. Pika Pika Pikachu. All right, break it up, you two. Ha, I got a review to do. Yep, so we have the Pikachu right here, which looks oh so cute and detailed. I'm surprised how much detail they put in that little guy. And here we have the biome piece, which is a tree stump. All right, cool. And underneath we have the rocks and whatnot. So let's see, let's put Pikachu on top here. So I guess whenever you catch a Pikachu, <laughs> yeah, that's where he's at, inside the Pokeball. Just hanging out on top of a log. <laughs> I would have never guessed that, but there he is. Put him in there carefully, and boom, there's our Pikachu biome. I'm just curious to see what else we can find, because we've got three more left. And of course, being a blind box, it's half the fun. Okay, let's see, uh, got another Pokemon in here. I see more blue and green. And I think, oh, that's a LaPrize. Oh, uh, yep, there she is, good old LaPrize. Oh man, that's a great looking figure. Look at all the detail on this thing. Ha, <laughs> little face and the shell on the back. Yep, looks just like the Tommy version, uh, but more cartoony. And I think I like this one better than this one. Huh. And of course, the other piece we got was is the biome itself. I mean, this is clear in color. And oh man, just look at all the little pieces inside. Rocks and seaweed, it looks like. All right, perfect. I think this looks like the sea floor. So uh, I guess we're supposed to put this on the bottom of here. Yeah, that looks about right. And then we put this on top because I think there's the body of the prize right there. Okay, and then the prize goes on top. Ha, oh, cool. Now this one's really detailed. Look at that, we got a seafloor on the bottom of some water. Okay, so let's get the Pokeball out. Put this thing inside of it. And boom, we have our LaPraz Sea Biome. You know, I think this is one of my favorites so far. So let's put this with the rest of them. And now we have four. Okay, four down, two more left. And this time we get another figure of Boom! Okay, let's see here. Oh, I think this is Bulbasaur. I see a lot of green. And first we have our figure of Bulbasaur. Holy cow, is this detailed? <laughs> I love the little face on him. That looks really cute. Oh, little Bulbasaur. He's got those little vine whips coming out of the back of him. Oh, perfect, just like he's ready to attack. And he looks just like our cute little Bulbasaur here, but uh, even smaller and more detailed. Huh, how they fit so much detail in that little guy? I'll never know. A little grassy knoll, it looks like. And we've got some holes right there for our flowers. Because I guess he likes to eat them or smell them or something. Ooh, cool! We've got little flowers in our biome. we got two more here. I'm not sure what to do with those. Let's see. Um, oh, you know what? I think we're supposed to put them in the Bulbasaur here. And yeah, that looks about right. Oh, cool. So let's see, let's put him on his biome there. Oh, doesn't he look so cute? <laughs> oh yeah. Okay, so let's put him with the other biomes. And now we have five. And you know what? It's kind of a shame that you can only find these in Japan because they're so cool. Okay, so we have our last Pokeball here. Boy, there's a lot going on here, it looks like. Let's see, we've got, uh, ooh, it's Snorlax inside. With tons of pieces. Huh, what Snorlax need all those pieces for? <laughs> and the first thing we get is a figure of Snorlax. <laughs> oh man, because he's he loves sleeping. Oh, that's funny. That's good old Snorlax. And over here we get a biome piece, which is uh oh bridge. Oh, you know what? Because he likes sleeping on bridges. <laughs> oh look at this, there's an indent in his back, so you can actually put him on the bridge. Oh, that's cool. Ah, just look at that. Lounging about like always. I remember him doing that in the cartoon show, so I guess it only makes sense to do it in his biome. Okay, so let's see, let's position him right there. Then we'll put the cap on. And now we have our complete set of Pokemon Series 1 biomes. All right, 
These little Pokeballs look great, and the biomes are fantastic, especially with all the little details inside, like uh, a little diggly right there. <laughs> oh, what a nice little bonus. All right, kids, well, there they are, the Series 1 Pokemon biome sets, which are available only in Japan and probably eBay.